Hi guys, this is Skidflash here, and welcome back to Let's Play Aviary Attorney. In the last play part, we started the trial, and we learned we 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 our chocolate theory is a bit more is a bit more solid now. And now we're going to probably cross-examine Swan Girl, who may or may not be the criminal. But let's go, Sparrowson. It's great to see you on your feet. But have you been enormous? And you've been an enormous asset to the case. But what are you trying to pull off now? Surprise witness. Those aren't things you want to do in court. Yeah, I remember you mentioning the Kokoriko like calling surprise witnesses. So I thought we'd beat him at his own game. <laughs> so she can testify about Prince Juan's character. No, not a good idea. You're putting me in a difficult position, man. <laughs> it's 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 not that helpful when it's a surprise to both of us. We, the court, examined that Mademoiselle San was possibly a suspect for this case. What? That can't be right. I'd like to testify. You want to testify? Do you understand what you're agreeing to? I accepted my fate. That's not a good thing you want to say <laughs> before testifying. Of course, that you are here to defend Prince Juan, not to convict Mademoiselle... Sag... 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 <laughs> I, I, I looked this up and forgot, but whatever. Please proceed, witness. Speak the oath. Uh-huh. I swear, Your Honor, I swear to speak without hatred and fear, to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Okay. Catherine Marie, and I'm now a flower seller. Tell the courtroom your activities. Very well. I saw the king and his entourage enter. I followed. When they came to the stop, I stepped forward and offered the king a chocolate. He refused, but the guard, a big dog by the name of Major Howe, was happy to oblige. The guard died because I personally had previously added poison. Whoa, okay, damn it! You can't just say that. Now, now I think it's not you. I used poison delivered from Monks Should, the notorious dangerous plant. No, it was Ar Asna. Was it? It was Wolfsbane or something. As a flower sour, it was simpler to acquire. Why? People have tried to kill the king before, and people will try again. He is a vile man who has no respect or love for people who suffer under him. That's. That's what the wolves are trying to tell you, man. I did it to better the French people. Are you trying to be coerced? Are you being coerced or threatened? Speak freely without hatred and without fear. You just took an oath, man. It's my guilt and nobody else's. Huh. Intriguing. <laughs> Pretty convincing. Okay. I suppose that gets your clan's print one completely off the hook. Lucky you. Uh, no. You see, the thing is, the last time we kind of did that, that our, our client pulled like a 180, and we can't be having that anymore. We gotta be thorough about this shit. Okay, you've already proved your client's innocence. I wish to uncover the truth. <laughs> Kokoriko is like, yeah, bro. You're here to defend Prince Juan, bro. Do you not understand this yet? Nonetheless, I believe that Mademoiselle has admitted something of huge importance. Something of huge importance. Fine. Can I at least show something to the witness? Okay. Um. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. That might be important. Train ticket stubs? Look at the names. Papa and Mom, yeah. In Vienna, really? Are they really safe? Yep. <laughs> so they're like, oh, cool, I don't have to be blackmailed anymore. Oh, then that means the wolf has nothing to hold over me. I can speak freely. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm amending my testimony. That was a total fucking lie. <laughs> I did not go. I did go to Levere. I did present a box of poison chocolates to the king, except it was not my volition. I was threatened. I was forced to carry out the task under threat of harm. My family has been struggling to get by. The winter has been harsh, and my flower business has been struggling. A man I assumed to be kind-hearted, this man offered me 200 francs. Bro, 200 francs, man? That's like... I guess that's a lot. <laughs> to get us through the cold. But I cannot afford to repay the debt. When I attempted to bargain with the man, he offered me a deal. Murder. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that's what everyone wants to do with deals, I guess. And he would ruin me and my parents. Because the alternative meant death for those I love. You can't have that. Hey! Who would have thought? <laughs> Sketchy. Hey. Ah, what a creative story. That is obviously a last minute, desperate attempt at passing the buck. <laughs> the sheer laziness of the girl to accuse man that she's never met before, she's blatantly floundering. I've never met you before. 
I've heard dozens of these self-pitying yarns during my time as a prosecutor, although admittedly, this is the first I've been a witness to directly accuse a judge, quite a brazen gambit. But in any case, these sort of stories can never turn out to be true, they are always proven to be fabrication born of desperation. I've never been more honest, Mr. <laughs> Alright, I would like to believe your story, because this guy's a dick. But accusing a man, a judge no less, of conspiring to the murder of the king is a hugely serious accusation. Proof? You say the judge lent you money? Then you must have signed a contract when you made the transaction. That would suffice as proof. All, consoles, all contracts were verbal. Heh, <laughs> how convenient. Okay. Uh-huh. You have to do something. Do you think... Uh, the link to judges wrong. Do you have anything to link her and her? Of course. I can say that made a contract made a contact. I know this because in the very moment I was holding a key piece of evidence that links him to the crime scene. Green ink. That much is obvious. Really? How do we know that? <laughs> but if I were to prison right now, it wouldn't prove anything. I have to find a link between. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Huh, Judge Romulus and the crime scene. Oh shit, maybe he bought the chocolate? Eh, you're gonna have to elaborate. Oh, I'm not sure. Okay. Oh no, no, that's not good. Is it this? I hope it is. Do we not have the evidence? We don't have the evidence, do we? We, we should have asked, um... Do we have to go back? <laughs> do we have to go back to the future to ask about Judge Romulus? About the... to the to the man. We might have to do that. I, is that really the case? Are we gonna lose? Okay. Guilty for sure. What do we have? I don't understand what we have. Could be the ticket stubs. Again, double presenting evidence. Nope, nope. Where we are definitely they're stalling. We are um okay, but your honor, he's right there. Okay, do we lose? I think, um... Yeah, you know, let me go back in time and see what's up. Won't we? No, no, we're... Okay. No, let's, let's, uh, let's go back in time. This isn't, this isn't right. This isn't the future I want. Not guilty. Woo, hooray. That's not, that's... Hey, no. <laughs> Can't be having this now. That's a not fun, not guilty. Well, okay. So how lucky? Um. Hey, that's good. This is all pretty shitty. <laughs> no one here likes gallows humor. Whatever. Okay. Ye you know what? Uh, it can't end like this. I wonder if there's anything more though. This isn't how I wanted things to go, man. No, me neither, man. <laughs> What good of effort if these are the results I produce? Uh, no, I hired you because I thought you're a lawyer with a philosophy, an ideal, and I stand by that. You're a man with a strong ideal, it's just unrefined. Okay, that's nice. The family name, the Falcon name is reputable? <laughs> I don't know that. Alright. Keep it. Okay, well that's nice. Not what I wanted, so you know what, let's... We have to go back, Morty. Alright, I'll meet you back at the chocolate emporium okay now to the chocolate emporium all right uh, who bought this piece of chocolate who would ask about what about <laughs> don't you love time travel what about judge Romulus, man yes <laughs> how about that all right have you ever served wait did you say yes yes a wolf in judicial robes I did serve a person like that a little while ago on the 6th of January did he say or do anything suspicious He's a pleasant fellow, big toothy grin. Bought 200 grams of classic dark Bowden chocolate with a custom filling. A custom filling? Some type of caramel he provided himself. <laughs> Although he unfortunately did not bring enough for me to sample. <laughs> That's good for you. Well, I shouldn't make assumptions. It just might mean that the judge liked to eat chocolate. But if the judge's purse is related to the wrapper of the crime scene, then ho oh, oh, ho man. Do you think I can get a copy of Judge Romulus's receipt? Well, there we go! <laughs> awesome! Now we can change the future! Alright, memorizing the seat's contents is trivial after all. Signed in green ink! Whoa! Who would have thought? 
I need to draw journalists with shady, but only truly villainous people write in green. <laughs> Alright. That has been enormously helpful. It would be funny if, like, if these are one of those things where he knows the few, like, where he's aware of the time traveling. Well, that's fine. Okay, so now we will go back to the trial, and things are, oh, this time, <laughs> it's gonna be different. Alright, okay, after much, much clicking, we are finally back, this time with two intermingling key pieces of evidence that are going to hose this man. The chocolate receipt. Bro, check it. You can look at this, Severin. Uh, you don't trust in the judge's hands? Absolutely not. <laughs> what is that? What does a piece of paper say? It's a receipt for a box of chocolates from Landers Housing Chocolate Emporium on the 6th of January, made out to you. To a man named Romulus. Welp. The writing upon the receipt is clear. A man named Romulus bought chocolates on the day before the murder. These chocolates happen to have been on the same brand and flavor as the one used in the royal assassination attempt. By itself, this evidence would not be definitive. It would only suggest that the judge had something of a sweet tooth. But taken in conjunction with the Mademoiselle's updated testimony, that wouldn't imply that the judge was directly involved in the assassination attempt. Yep, I do. It had more lies, that's what. I haven't stepped foot in that chocolate shop in years. Bruh. <laughs> Watch me dispute it. What do you have in there? A scrap of taste with the word Romulus scrolled on top of it. Is it a forgery? Are there simply two men named Romulus living in Paris? I don't have a clue. What I do know is that you have nothing to prove that I was the one who signed that receipt. Ha, <laughs> ha, you think that? That wouldn't be possible, I believe that his honor uses a rubber stamp for signing off official courtroom documents. How convenient. Well, no matter, I don't need the judge's signature, I already have in my possession proof that the signature on the receipt belongs to Judge Romulus. Bruh. <laughs> Alright. Oh, but first things first, I believe you dropped your pen, your honor. Huh? Oh yeah, that's mine. Thank <laughs> oh, he just got played. Um, oh yeah, that's mine. Thanks, I've been looking for that thing everywhere. I thought as much. Oh, last night, I was assaulted outside of the hospital. I did not see the assailant's face, but I did ac accidentally grab something from their garments while I was thrown into sign. Oh, that's why you smell a fish. I wanted to say something, but I thought it might be rude. The pen is the very item I grabbed. Oh, man. Did I, did I say the pen was mine? <laughs> On closer inspection, I see it must have been suspicion. <laughs> Quit the bullshit. What interests me is most about this pen is the ink it contains. It is an emerald green in color. And as we all know, only baddies red and green. Oh yes, but more importantly, it's rare and unusual choice in color. I would venture that only a dozen people in all Paris are arrogant enough to write in green. Why Why would you write in green in the first place, actually? Alright, so Judge Romulus lacks receipt of, for classic penmanship. What of it? Take another look at the chocolate receipt, the receipt that was signed with emerald green ink. It certainly is a coincidence. No, no, uh-uh. There's only one narrative that can tie this ridiculous string of evidence together. On the 6th of January, you bought a box of chocolates with a custom filling. That custom filling signed contained poison originating from the flowers. Who owed your debt? Well, how about that? Okay, then an idiot man by the name of Juan framed himself as the murderer in order to take the fall for Mademoiselle signed stead. You pushed for Juan's guilt by... Priming the witness, the kingly, and then you failed, you pressured her to take full responsibility for the crime. How about that? Admit it! Fine! I do admit it! I did it! I pressured the chocolate, I added the poison. Why would you do that? I put the peasant girl in debt just so I could force her to take the fall. I was the one who wanted the king murdered. <laughs> okay. But there's not a damn thing any of you can do about it. I'm the one who holds the gavel, I'm the one who passes the sentences. The snap of my fingers, I could have each and every one of you guillotined. How about that? Who judges the judges? Who stands above me? Nobody. Not even God can do that. <laughs> okay, man. Calm down. Attempting to murder a king? Corrupting the people? One utterly repulsive individual? You have no authority over me. <laughs> but he's the king of motherfucking France. I'm not done. I'm not done with any of you. Okay, you're all guilty. You'll see. A revolution is coming. Alright, the rebels will overthrow Paris. The bourgeoisie, the bourgeois, I have <laughs> learned more of that word, will be slaughtered. We also have glorious second republic, a republic free of class, where everyone is free and equal. How about that? Do we agree with those ideals? We don't know yet. 
Just another raging lunatic, your majesty, ignore him. Alright, how about that? Huh? Huh? What? Uh... Hey, how, how long have you been... Are you the judge? I guess I'm supposed to take better. Okay, I guess you're the judge now. We believe that the results are clear. Clear to be all charges. Defendant not guilty! And this is a happy not guilty, too. Awesome. <laughs> now I'm curious what will happen if we go back in time and, like, uh... I don't want to change the past too much, though. Because you know what, Reaper? What if we just not take Dom Catterline's case? <laughs> like it should be. Alright, however, you still played a significant role. You're gonna be... You're gonna be tried to hell, man. That's fine. <laughs> but as it happens, due process was not allowed during the trial session. Judge Romulus III disrupted the proceedings. I believe that the most of the testimonies given during this trial session would not be invalid in the court of law. He's saying you're free to go! <laughs> Bro! Um, well there you go. Without your help and assurances, I don't know where I'd be right now. You'd be in jail on death row. We know. We've, we, uh, we lived that timeline. I think so, but, well would you have to ask the fox for details? I don't know exactly what he arranged. Although now that Judge Romulus poses no threat, I suppose your parents would be free to move back to Paris. Actually, yeah, man, to Vienna. You need a holiday after all this drama, but I want to get it here way before, you know, before the revolution. It, uh, when does the actual French Revolution take place? Is it around this time, I'm assuming? It's not just him, is there? In the streets, everyone talks of an uprising. If you were smart, you'd be clear out of here, too. Nah, man, he fights for justice. Um, but we're far from smart, so we're staying put. Okay, maybe we can meet again when all has blown over. Nice. Don't you want to have a quick celebratory drink? Nope, bailed. Just you, me, and the fox, right? That sounds good. Let's take Prince Juan back to the aviary office. Okie dokie. Awesome. Congratulations on covering the truth in the way that you did. It was quite a feat. What are you going to say? Um, but you surprised me at the end with that little lie of yours. Lie? The trial's testimony is completely involved <laughs> invalid bullcock. You and I both know that this trial has produced ample valid evidence for her to be tamed and tried. Um, even with the coercion accounted for, I bet she would still be found guilty of a conspiracy or accessory to murder. So why are you holding back? Because he's a bro. You know, ten, maybe five years ago, I probably would have prosecuted her. When I was fresh out of law school, I thought my role as a prosecutor was to con condemn every potential criminal that came that way. He already had his character development, though. I thought, if the guilty person ends up behind bars or hanging doc, clock, doc, then justice has been served. But as I gained experience, I started noticing the details. The extenuating circumstances, the personal considerations, the gap in the law where even due process is followed to the latter, do good people are punished for the wrongdoers while then the wrongdoers walk free? I hated it. So I changed my role. I decided I would not strive to secure a guilty verdict, but to ensure that justice is served. Damn, bro. You are just so cool. <laughs> I could prosecute Madame Sange, but that would, and she would definitely be convicted, because I'm fucking awesome, <laughs> but that would not serve justice. How about that? You're a good lawyer. You're a good lawyer, Kokoriko. You... Well, you're not terrible, Falcon. <laughs> awesome. Okay, are we getting paid? Are we getting paid? What am I doing? Still using that old accent? Of course I meant congratulations. Okay. Um, we're just doing our jobs. No, your job ended when you proved my innocence. Everything after that was beyond your duties. Okay, cool. But I forgot your payment. Thank you. We can happily accept this money that we can just probably gamble away. Alright, I'll see you out. Wait! that something's been bothering me. Why did you come to us in the first place? There are much better lawyers, man. More reputable than the Falcon? Does he know a grandfather or something? True, he does have a mixed bargain, but his family name is hugely respected in the lawyering world. There we go. I never heard of another lawyer named Falcon. Let's not go down this road. I don't go by my old name for- I don't go by my old name for a reason. Interesting. That is fair. We shouldn't be fixated on the fast. We gotta make our name for ourselves. It's all gone and gone. The future is where our potential lies. <laughs> I, I, that's what I did. The future is the potential lies, man. And that's what we should be paying attention to. A storm is approaching fast. That revolution. Indeed, I dare say that the wolf is right. A rebellion is coming. 
Oh man. A surge of work? If you want me to dig up the dirt on anyone, please feel free to drop by my office. Alright, we have a friend now. He's a private investigator. Awesome. Okay. So is that the end of case two? I'm gonna get a drink. Really? You want some tear coffee? <laughs> ha! See? It's like non-alcoholic drink. Awesome! So, that was the end of Act 2. The game has been saved. Goody. So, yeah, that was Act 2. <laughs> That was really fun. I liked it. Very cool. In the next part, we will be doing starting off Act 3. But until then, this has been Skid Flash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye!